Okay, so doing the install on the dual battery setup for the D-Max here. You can have a battery running in the back of the tub and also to get some power through to our camper trailer. So being a bit of a mission, we'll see what we've done so far here. Um, got two cables running, greens going into the back of the tub and blues going to the tow bar for the camper trailer. So just some fuse, six BNS cable here, heavy duty stuff. Um, don't want to lose any voltage with the long runs. So I've managed to go down there, uh, just trying to keep away from the engine, not too much heat and just out of the way, just following some other conduit. Not going to get too far under there because it was an absolute mission to get it in there. I had to sort of just peel this mud guard back here and we can see in there we've gone up there through a rubber grommet in the back of the tub. I pre-drilled a hole down there before I put the rear drawers in. And we've got the kick-ass slimline 170 amp hour, the big one, the AGM battery there should give us plenty of power. So that's right up to so far. We've got the cable up here coming through the tub and here's the charger here, sort of just starting to wire it all up and get it ready to put. Actually underneath the wing of this drawer here, um, gonna hide it under there. It's got a little LED light on it that you can have remotely so you know if it's charging or not. So we're going to put that in there so I know what's going on. And it's pretty easy to get to anyway if I do need to get to it. So I'll show you the back here. We've run that other cable all the way along the back over the tow bar to an Anderson plug here. I only got it cable tied on there at the moment because I've got to get some screws to attach it properly. So that'll be fixed up. But check the voltage at it, no voltage drop from the battery, so pretty happy with that. And that's going to run all the way through the camper trailer to another DC-DC charger, which we'll have a look at a bit later. All right. Okay, so a bit of an update here. Got the DC-DC charger all wired in, the projector IDC25, I think it's called. Now I've hidden it underneath this wing here on the Titan ute drawers. So there it is there. I've uh, got the cables running all the way up there through the back. I just wanted it out of the way and it's just a couple of little Allen key bolts if I ever need to get to it. Um, comes all the way back here to the kick-ass 170 amp hour slimline AGM battery. Got it from Australian Direct on the Sunshine Coast. Really good fellas to deal with. Very helpful over the phone. Um, couldn't fault the service. And they let you pick up stuff too if you're in the area too. So bit of a disaster zone here with all the gear but that's all wired in I, I tested it out and it's working um, that's the unregulated solar that runs into the DC DC charger so I'll tidy that up and mount it there somewhere just wanted to get the Anderson plug on there but all in all pretty happy so far still got to wire in all the accessory points and all that so that's for another day this has been a bit of a mission trying to get all the cabling through everywhere and through grommets and all that sort of stuff so Righto, get back to you when we're done. So I just thought I'd do a quick little video on how I've decided I want to run my accessories. So I just got this little piece of timber, sprayed it black, got some little brackets there. Um, just wired up to USB, make sure you always go the 2.1 amp at least so that your phones charge properly. Uh, voltmeter, two cigarette ports, Anderson plug run into a fuse box here so that Anderson plug will run straight to the battery via its own fuse. Um, I've gone for this setup because I want to be able to pull it out pretty easy if I want to um, instead of screwing into the tub of the ute and all that sort of stuff so here it is here just tightened it up a little bit um, some little split tubing and that keep it safe behind there otherwise we'll uh, we'll see how we go. Right so we're done in here Car's running, sorry, just wanted to test everything out, make sure it's charging. So you got all the accessories here, voltmeter saying 14.1 volts, so the car's giving the battery a good charge via the projector charger. That's the battery there, the 170 amp hour kick ass slimline AGM, fits really nicely in there. Just got to cover it up a bit once I tidy everything up. But they're all gone, it's just a homemade panel there, little fuse box. The Anderson plug solar input which goes into the charger for unregulated solar. We'll go have a look in the camper trailer. So I got the Anderson plug down here. 
running from the alternator, the starter battery. Goes all the way underneath the camp trailer. Into here, where we've got a CTEC D250SA DC DC charger. Uh, probably wondering why I got one projector and one CTEC. Uh, I don't really know. This one came on a really good price just after Christmas, so I picked one up and see what they're like. And um, that there's charging that battery, which is about 120 amp hours. So everything seems to be working pretty well. Um, got plenty of battery power to get the car and the camper going. I think the CTEC is probably a little bit easier to wire in because you don't need to join too many cables or anything like that. You can just connect it to all these little Allen key bolts here with some terminals on the end. So we'll see how we go, but pretty happy with the setup.